In our Fountain of Youth segment today, a how-to manual for life change. In the book, Traveling Hopefully, How to Lose Your Family Baggage and Jumpstart Your Life, author Libby Gill outlines steps to help people unload past negative messages and get on with their lives. Libby Gill is joining me now from Los Angeles. Libby, it's kind of, it's interesting that you wrote this book because here you are, this successful um, career coach, life coach. I mean, you help other people have the confidence to make change and you had a revelation at your father's deathbed. What happened? Well, I got to this point in my life where I realized, Carol, that everything looked really good from the outside. I had a good job and a nice house and all of the trappings, but there was something missing on a very deep level. And as I sat there with my father having this one-sided conversation because he was at the end of his life and I felt like I was starting life anew, mm -hmm. I realized I had this sort of system of self-beliefs that were limiting me. I, based on the time, it started probably when I was 10 years old and my oldest brother died on Christmas. And then my father, who, as you said, was at his deathbed, had left my mother shortly after. So here was my mom. I was one of six kids. She was raising five little kids. Mm -hmm. And my father moved to another country. So this left me with this real sense of, uh, of always a need to prove myself and to be very guarded and very silent. It was, it was difficult to trust. All of those things. And, and on the good side, it made me, it made me had this deep need to help other people. Uh -huh. But it also... Right made me feel very much like, you know, put the right. walls up. So here you are, at, you know, at 40, young, but with the rest of your life together, and you've got five basic principles. I know the book is deeper than that and very personal to you, but let's talk very quickly about the five, no. beginning with, you say, dissect your past so you can direct your future. Just as you did, what do you say to other people? Well, I tell people to dissect your past, meaning look backwards. Look at where you've come from so you can understand where you're going. Don't dwell in the past because, you know, it can be a nice place to visit, right. but you don't want to live there. And then it's like so, a crutch. And then you say learn to link internal clarity with external action, which right. sounds like, you know, do something. Make change. Well, exactly, but do something based on a, a real sense of purpose, a real sense of passion, because so many of us, myself included, get caught up in that sense of, I'm going to do what other people are expecting me to do, but don't do mm -hmm. that. Do what's right for you, and then externalize that. Yeah, and I like the next two because it, it's very um, proactive, and, and it brings your friends and family into it. Recruit a support squad and make a personal roadmap. Right. Well, what I found for me, I was going through all these changes. And by the way, all these changes started when I'm, I was 40, but now I'm 50. So this was a long process of change. And I really knew I couldn't do it myself. So even though it seemed obvious you need help, I didn't really know what that language of support was. So I went out and learned it. And mm -hmm. I talk about that in Traveling Hopefully. And keep moving toward what you want. Stay away from what no longer serves you. So it's a little like um, house cleaning. It's house cleaning. It's also this real sense of momentum. Once you get in this flow of, of making things happen and taking these little baby steps of progress so that you can make, I tell people to think small. You know, it sounds great to have a big plan and a vision, and that's good, but think small. Narrow it down into baby steps, and once you begin to do that and you right. experience success, it takes over and it just takes you along with it's it. It's manageable. It's manageable. You exactly. can jumpstart, make major changes. Changes, get rid of all that baggage in the past and get excited about your life again. Thanks exactly. very much, Libby. Great advice. Thank you.